hi guys welcome back to my channel thank you so much for stopping by again today i appreciate you all for always coming back to watch my video for my new subscribers thank you so much for stopping by and if you are yet to subscribe to my channel please 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 do subscribe turn on your notification bell to all so that you'll be among the first to be notified whenever i upload a new video in this channel i do cooking i do vlog sometimes i do diy so guys stay tuned i have a lot of things to do because yeah i school not in the same city where my family lives i school like three hours and i live there as well i just come back every weekend to prepare the kids cook food and also partition it for them and my hobby so it will be easy for my hobby to warm up just warming up that's what they do just warming up and eat so guys today i will show you what i cook and how i normally do it though i will not be showing you all because this is not like a recipe video but yeah i just be showing you the things i do and how i set it up for them so that it will be easy for them while i'm away but i come back every weekend guys i come i try to come back every weekend it's not easy life of a student but yeah keep watching stay tuned and please give this video a thumbs up share out the video and also leave your comments below so the first thing I'll be doing is to sort out the crayfish which I'll be using to cook. These are all the rubbish that I took out from this crayfish. Though I'm not done yet sorting it out, but yeah, you see the difference in the color. The ones that I've sorted out, the color is popping and the other ones looks dirty. So guys, make sure you sort your crayfish out before making use of it. It's better to sort it out than just washing it so the next thing i'll be doing is to prep the meat so what i normally do is to cut it into biteable size or cooking size then pack it inside the nylon and i'm bringing out the ones that i will use for pepper soup like after seeing all these kinds of meat the first thing you remember is pepper soup once i'm done with the lungs and the iota i move on to the shaki the towel or the cow stomach anyone you call it so i've taken out the one that i use for pepper soup as well then i will just cut the remaining ones and partition it like this so that i just pop it inside my freezer and once i'm done i made pepper soup with the meat i showed you earlier though some of the meats are not here i was done already with the cow tail before bringing out the other ones so that one i didn't video it but yeah i first of all prepared the cow tail then i partitioned it for hobby so the next thing i'll be doing is to cook dry soup yeah each time i come back i make sure that i prepare maybe a soup that is almost finishing or that has finished already because i do have like four to five types of soups in my freezer so today we are making draw soup to top up the ones we have and after that i partition it like this i'm taking off the label that was on the plate then i'll be putting a new label i also skin the beans for moi moi and accra so i normally do this i make sure that i have this inside my freezer so that it will be handy anytime I want to make use of it. So I'll be taking this one out, putting it in my freezer for later use. Then I'll be making Accra with this one. Muna loves helping me out in the kitchen. <laughs> oh, he will be a great chef. Just like me when I was a little, I love staying in the kitchen. So we are making Accra with the one that we blended. And after that, I will leave it to cool down. Then I also made some waffles. I added some blue color to it. Yeah, yummy. So, we are making masala soup, white soup. Who doesn't like white soup? This is not for the kids, so because it's so hot. <laughs> but this is for this weather. So, and after that, I will pack it up as usual. Just like so, partition it. So that it will be handy, just bring out and warm it up. Then I will label it in salad and place on it so it will be easy to find in the freezer. I also made some abacha African salad. I prepared this as well. 
then i also partitioned it hobby ate from this and the kids also ate from this that was why it just came out to place mona love abacha so much this is mona devouring the abacha like no man's business and eating the fish in it that guy he can eat abacha in the morning afternoon and night no matter how you prepare it and this guy ate even the bones that is in the fish without taking out the bones like who does that <laughs> so i also cooked some potatoes this will be going inside the fridge the kids love some potatoes and they can eat it with chicken nuggets they can also eat it with hot dogs and they can also eat it with fish cakes mona loves fish cakes a lot and this one has about 80% fish in it. I'm already tired. Hobby is making dinner for us. My favorite chef. Just that Hobby sometimes makes guy. Doesn't like cooking. But he cooks very well. So he's making the best pasta and pasta sauce for us. Like my Hobby makes the best pasta sauce. And that's what I was craving this evening. I beg I be somebody that I'll make another person cook food for me too. So the following day, the first thing I did was to make okra soup. No, the first thing I did was to color my hair. Then I made okra soup, partitioned it as well as usual. Then I prepared this delicious, sumptuous egusi. I don't use too much oil in my egusi. But you can use the amount of oil you prefer while making yours. But for me, I don't put too much oil because the egusi itself contains oil. But if you like it too much popping, you can blend a lot of pepper and put in it so that the color will pop. So guys, after cooking the egusi soup, I made opwa. After making the bambara pudding, allow it to get cold, pack inside the freezer then time to put them on the kids clothes i have this type of name tag that looks like staple you see you just have to press it on the clothes and it comes out like this i will also be making use of this you use iron to place this one on the clothes you just have to find the place you will put it then use like a hanky or a very thin cloth put on it and iron it so that the name will stick on it guys i'm already tired i'm already tired like i'm exhausted that's why my face is looking like this oh my god so just like this every of their clothes must have a name on it not only their clothes their shoes their jacket their lunch box so this one that has a long distance like this i write the name with a permanent marker so <laughs> that's all i'll be doing is either i use the one that looks like staple is either i iron it or i will use my permanent marker and write our surname i just write only surname and at the back i write my phone number so in case it get lost they can contact me to come and pick it oh my god i'm so exhausted so tired look at my tired face it is my hair that i color didn't even come out well but yeah we move so before you take your kids out to school make sure you put their name even after putting the names their things they also get lost it's not that you are guaranteed that they will not misplace it but it helps and uh, i have a lot here that was zina's own this is zina's jacket i've done with this one this is mona's wool only wool and some of the jacket the light jacket is here oh my god these are all the clothes that i will be putting them on. and here is their winter jacket like they have the ones they wear inside outside the school the ones they wear at home guys i'll be ending this video here i'm tired thank you